cheerleaders a lot harder than most people would think. Most people see cheerleaders as ditzy girls that wear tiny uniforms and cheer at sporting events. But there's much more to a cheerleader than the stereotype that people give them. Cheerleaders are responsible for maintaining their grades, being a good student, bringing school spirit, and participating in a sport that goes all year long. Um, being a great student involves many things. You have to make straight A's. Uh, when looking at the bylaws and requirements for being a cheerleader, the number one thing that is stated is you have to make good grades in order to even be considered for the squad. Um, for most schools, trials are based on a point system, and most points are like for tumbling and for your cheer, but your main points is for when you make your grades. So if you make A's, then your points are obviously going to be higher. Um, not only are these grades required for tryouts, but after you make the squad, they're, the cheerleaders are required to and expected to maintain a relatively high grade point average throughout the year. Me personally, not only does my school require me to make good grades, but I have to make good grades because of the requirement of my parents. Uh, if I don't make straight A's, then I can't be on the squad. Another criteria that cheerleaders must meet is great leadership. Uh, there's not a lot of cheerleaders in the school, but they're social icons to the student body. According to varsity.com, being a leader is not only on the sidelines, but in the classroom and the community as well, and it is a vital component of your role. Being a cheerleader, um, they are expected and encouraged to obey and have above average character. When you become a cheerleader, everybody knows who you are. And I remember when I was little, I would go to football games with my parents and I would see the cheerleaders on the sidelines and I knew that when I wanted to grow up, I wanted to be just like them. And so me being a cheerleader now, that's what I want to put off and I want cheerleaders, uh, the little girls, to want to look up to me. Um, being a leader is a central part of being a cheerleader. And being head cheerleader, you have more responsibility. I know this personally because at my school, I am head cheerleader. And it requires you to make up the routines, you're responsible for 15 other girls, including yourself. And when something goes bad or you mess up, it goes on you, not your entire squad. Um, another requirement of being a cheerleader is to fulfill your school with spirit. Um, in the Hamilton Southeastern Cheerleading Handbook, they have a requirement that all cheerleaders will create their Panther spirit throughout their school, including locker room decorations, locker decorations, pep rallies, and convocations. My school has a similar requirement. The month before camp and the month after camp, you are required to set aside the school for, and get it ready for the requirement of the school. You have to make the students be welcome. So you fill the halls with posters and um, during the year the sports season switch. So when football is over, you have to take all the football posters down and the basketball. Um, and that's not anybody's requirement. The student council doesn't do it, it's only the cheerleaders. Um, you also have to plan and perform pep rallies. For every single sporting season, the cheerleaders are required to set up a pep rally that the students will come to and it shows support for whichever sport it is. Um, in tips given by the National Cheerleading Association, having a plan or schedule for your pep rallies that the students will be familiar with is the easiest way to set it up. Um, also, having a central theme will increase student involvement. Every single day after school, the cheerleaders have practice. And at that practice, we organize pep rally, we create the dances to perform at each week, and we prepare students, the games that students will play and have the music that's playing throughout to set the mood for what we're trying to create. Uh, they also have to prepare for the actual game as well. We have to rehearse the cheers, practice stunts, and think of ways to increase crowd participation. Um, we also have to volunteer throughout the year. Cheerleaders make up different appearances at different events and benefits around the community. At my own school, the cheerleaders are required to go to the Buddy Walk, which raises awareness for kids with Down Syndrome, and work with the Special Olympics that is all of the schools around the area bring their special needs kids and they kind of have like a field day. Um, we also provide little cheerleading camp, and at the last parent game, all the little kids kind of cheer with their um, the last criteria for cheerleaders is that the sport never ends. Throughout the year we have football, basketball, baseball, um, a thing called fall leagues, and at the end we have tryouts. Uh, during football season the cheerleaders are required to cheer at the games, perform at prep rallies, organize homecoming bonfire, organize the homecoming dance, 
have a locker boy that you're required and make a different appearances throughout the year. Um, what a locker boy is, is kind of have one specific guy on the football team that you get gifts for every single week and kind of show your support for them. Um, during basketball season, we perform at home games for girls and boys. So the boys are away, the girls are home. So twice a week, the cheerleaders have to perform. And when the boys or girls make pep rally or make playoffs, then we have to do a pep rally and like a community thing to show our appreciation and our support for our people. Um, during baseball season, we have a, we just have a locker boy because you can't very well cheer at a baseball game. And then we have a thing called Follies. And Follies is a event put on by our dance team. And the cheers are required to do a dance and show our support for them. Um, after Follies, we have tryouts. And during tryouts for the upcoming year, the seniors on the squad are required to teach the criteria that the girls try not for the squad will be judged on. Um, there's a lot more being put into cheerleading that what spectators get to see. This is a requirement for the cheerleaders to make their job look easier than it actually is. Most of the jobs done by cheerleaders are behind the scenes, and they are required to keep their grades, ex be exceptional people, put in a lot of time to bring spirit to the school, make sure the student body has as much fun as they can, and just be all around happy all the time. Now, you tell me if this fits the stereotype that most of us know, because I don't think 